Hello everybody, this is Funny Joe Bobwin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2, where today we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Yeah, we're going away, well, just for this video, we're going away from the usual look at some routes or trains or whatever. And, um, so this is some more DLC content that we're looking at today, but it's different kind of DLC content. This isn't a route or a train. Rather, it's four routes, but they're not really routes. They're sort of, well, this is the Trains Arcade Sessions. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, so if you're not aware, um, over in Train Simulator 2, and I think these were also back in Train Simulator 1, and I'm not sure if these were on the Trains PC versions, but... Anyway, at least here in Train Simulator 2, uh, we have what is called the Trains Arcade Sessions. And essentially, these arcade sessions are, well, they're kind of what they sound like. They're arcade games. They're not really scenarios where you stop at the stations or deliver some freight. No, they're a bit different. They're a bit unconventional compared to what we usually do. Um, so let's actually go into that website to talk about what they're about. So with this add-on, there are four routes games that you get yeah route slash games that you get um so first though the first one we have the one that i found out here there's the amazing race yes the second one there's the uh actually yeah let's actually go through each of them first so we have the amazing race which is race another train and arrive at the station before they do then we have congestion on the rails uh where we have to move the three freight trains ahead out of the way so we can get the passenger train through and then here we have more power which is where we, need, where we need to drive an urgent load of coal to the power station. And finally, we have Runaway Train! Which is where we need to catch the runaway train before it plunges into the ravine. Ooh, kind of like unstoppable. Yes. So we're doing all four of these today. And um, I'm not sure which one to start with. So we're just going to go in ABC order. We're going to go from the top of the list and start with the Amazing Race. So we have all, So we also have a quick drive option here as well so in, uh, so if you just want to if you don't want to want to do the session and you just want to just play around the route you can just do that in the quick drive mode and you don't have to make your own scenario but we're gonna be doing the session itself the amazing race the reason why this route was created um yeah so like i said race another train rubber station before they do so let's do this before we get started be sure to take out my fiber gig link is in the description and here we are. Harry is challenging you to race to Central Station. Well, I believe that's the station. Yes. Navigate through the maze faster than he can. Avoid the return loops and dead ends to arrive at the Central Station first. Yeah, this isn't necessarily just a race. This is a race where we have to make sure that we get there. There we go. And there's the race. At 3, 2, 1, go! And we're off! Yes! That's right. We are off and underway. Let's actually switch over to Imperialism because this is Imperialism's. And yeah, we're driving the Class 43 HST and we're racing a Santa Fe F7. Let's turn on the lights. And now as we're taking off, we have a little bit of time to make sure that we don't go off the track or anywhere because the points have been set. Oh, we don't want to go into the ravine there. That would be very bad. And, uh, oops, I actually don't remember the route. Oh, yeah, I believe we have to then go here, right? Oh, come on. Go there. Go around this loop. Actually, hold up. There's a whole shortcut here that we could take instead, I just realized. Yes. So here's our train, which is currently going up the hill. And yeah, so that F Santa Fe F7 train they're racing, that's going on a separate route. And we're going on this route here, which is going up this little hill here. We're actually about to go over this bridge. Yes. Of course, the time doesn't have to go too fast, so otherwise, well, we would derail. So while we're running that loop, so there's this shortcut that we're taking here. Um, and I believe that actually the points... Oh, there's one more. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're now clear to go all the way. So let's now drive our train to make sure we don't derail. So here it is, driving the Class 43 HST. Um, so yeah, one thing I, I one thing I think is worth mentioning though, I don't think that there are actually any um, new assets in this route, like trains or track or whatever. I think it's all base content here. Okay, let's slow down. Oh, let's go. Okay, I think the, uh, the the railroad physics have actually been tuned a little bit, so this way you don't necessarily derail or anything, but. We're going to take our time here anyway because I don't want to crash and I actually want to win the race as we're grabbing the Class 43 HST, trade class 43 HST. And yeah, one of the things I guess I almost forgot to mention. Um, oh, to help your path? Yep, yeah, there he is. Um, yeah, so this this hairy guy here, he's driving the Santa Fe F7. He's actually already quite a far, quite far out in the lead here. So we got some ground to make up. 
Uh, wait, what? Wait, we just went around... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to change these points. Oh, no. It's a disaster for us. Uh-oh. Already we've made a few mistakes here. I thought I forgot to set this. Another pair of points I have to set. There we go. Now we'll make it. All right, come on. Come on. Speed! And yeah, I should know my way around because I've actually done this a few times before, way back in the early days. But of course, it's been a little while, so I'm a little bit rusty here. So, come on. We need to go. Yes! Okay, once again, let's make sure we don't derail. And this time, we're just going the correct path. This time. So yeah, we gotta get a centration before here he does. And oh, boy, that he's already almost there. So it's ready to go so fast. Wow. Okay, we have to. We may have to try this again, actually. Well, they call us the arcade game for a reason. And uh, we're falling way behind. All right, let's go full throttle and see if we can get there. I've never actually lost this race this before, actually. Am I seriously gonna lose this race for the first time doing this on video? Oh, balls. Alright, come on. Speed! Alright, we're gonna have to absolutely fly. Yeah, well, he got there way before we did. In fact, I just realized that there was actually a quicker way to get there, so... Yeah. So that's not how you do this game, then. So yeah, we're gonna give this one a redo because I absolutely mess it up. But first, let's have an epic derail bit. Yeah, it turns out that we actually went quite the long way, and we could have actually gone there way before he did, but unfortunately I just didn't quite uh, get the route set up correctly. Yeah, so this is a game of... Uh, yeah, so it's not this is just a race. You also have to... Well, first thing you have to do is actually get there. Well, yeah, but you have to get there by making... But you have to get there as quickly as possible by making sure that you set the points correctly, as well as... Um, well, yeah. Oh, he's waiting for us. Oh. Well, that was okay. <laughs> I messed that up completely. Alright, yep, I would like to restart and try again. Alright, let's give that a redo because that was a total disaster. I think it was actually waiting for us to get here anyway, but I don't count that. That's not the proper race victory. I want to do this properly. Alright, let's try that again. I thought we could be able to get that first try, but no. Apparently not. Okay, back to previews. Okay, let's try that again. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, now you may be wondering, well, why are we racing a Santa Fe F7? That train is so much slower. Well, in theory, it is a lot slower. However, oh, come on. However, the F7 actually takes a much shorter route than we do, so that's the reason why, um... Why he was able to get there so much quicker than we did. Okay, I'm gonna try a gamble and actually, no, I think he's gonna get there. Actually, he's really fast. I think what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm just gonna take the shortest route. I'm gonna go here and then there's a couple other ways to go here. We don't wanna go into the ravine. However, we do wanna go this direction and there we go. Okay. Okay, now I'm certain that we will get there in time. So there he goes and there we go. Yes. Because he actually got there a lot quicker than I was expecting him to get there. He, I mean, his route, it's not exactly short, but it is, he got there very quickly. Actually, you know what, to make it a little bit more interesting, though. Oh, no, he gets the, he's, he's really moving. Okay, yeah, now we're gonna, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the easy way. Because, uh, another thing, I guess nothing worth mentioning that we also have to stop there in time before we, you know, crash. Now here's uh whatever this is. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, there's no new well I mean I mean I know that there's no new trains in this uh in this add-on pack. It's just um all the trains that we use here are default. And I don't think I think the derailment physics are actually turned off because I run the corner pretty quickly and I didn't derail. So I think the uh I think the derailment physics have actually been turned off just for this uh uh this session, which is probably for the best. Except for it is a race. Okay, so where's our Harry, oh, he's way behind now. Yeah, we're, def we're definitely going to get here in time. Okay, well, you, you can play this map in multiple different ways to sort of, um, to sort of, you know, make it more interesting. So where is our Harry? He's, oh, he's way behind now. Yeah, there's no way we can lose this now. 
Other thing that might make it more interesting if we take like the long way around, because then it would be a dead head-to-head -head race. Uh, but I figured, yeah, let's, let's do it. Yeah. Any close to you remember something platform? Yes, indeed. But here we are, we arrived first. And he's actually just starting again. Yeah. Alright, oops. Uh oh, am I gonna stop in time? Uh oh. I may have gone the brakes a little bit too late here. No, come on, we got so close. Okay, then we're gonna stop in time. Yes. There we go. Spin power. And there it is. Alright, he's just... Okay, it actually wasn't that far off. We had a two-star rating. Why did I get two stars? Oh, whatever. And those are Harry. I actually think we would have gotten three stars if we had taken, like, the more difficult route. Oh, well. You know what? Maybe... Mm... Okay, well, I think that's enough for this one. Yeah, so Amazing Race. Pretty interesting game. Uh, but I think that's enough of it for now. we got a couple other games to play, so... Alright, okay, yeah, maybe we'll, right, you know, maybe we'll give this one more try at the end of the video, but, um, anyways, um, but that's it for now, let's move on to the next game. Alright, so next up is Congestion on the Rails, move the three freight trains ahead out of the way so you can get the passenger train through. Alright, so this session here, I did play this a few times, or at least I tried to, but I found it difficult, so let's see if we can do it today, so... Right, so your train is full of passengers in a hurry to get to the station. Only problem is there are free freight trains without local up ahead. You need to move them to get out of the way. I see. Okay. Use the loops to get past the freight trains and get the passenger station as fast as you can. Oh, it's a race. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! All right, so what are we doing here? Okay, so we have three pa oh, no, three freight trains. Okay, there's one, two, three, and here's our end. Okay. All right, and yeah, here's the wrong case. One, you can text you a much smaller one, but of course, that's all you really need for the Okay, all right, see so what they want us to do here. All right, so I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually, I have a genius idea already. Okay, so we're gonna do this. All right, and we're gonna put these white hoppers onto the siding. Here's our train. All right, so this time we're driving the Santa Fe F7. Yes. All right, and the funny thing is, is that we're not even using a shunter to do this challenge, though we're actually using our proper passenger train. Because yeah, I guess all the shunting engines have gone on strike, so we're having to use the train itself to get these cars out of the way and get to the station. I have to do it in the quickest time possible. Yes. So there's three, actually, things are going to get interesting here. Alright, I'll start off a bit easy first. Alright, so comes a stop here. And we'll get these uh, hopper cars to start with. Fertilizers. Alright. Now let's back up. These cars are pretty long, actually, so... Because one thing I've noticed right away is that there's, like... Okay, there's three sidings, but we have to be very... Strategic about this. Hmm. Hold on a minute. I think I know what they want us to do here. I think we're supposed to use this track here to move another freight train, because there's only... There's two sidings, but there's only really one way through. And if we put all three trains on here... Uh, okay. Alright, I got an, I got some ideas. Now, this one... Uh, so, unlike The Amazing Race, I've never actually completed this one, like... I don't think I've ever completed this one successfully, actually. Like, I've always messed it up. But, looking back at it... I think I know what to do here. So we're going to come to a stop right when these points here become unlocked. 
Okay. And bring it to a stop now. All right, now we'll uncouple these upper cars. So those are the covered hopper cars. Next up is gonna be the coal hoppers, which is up here. Oops, I don't wanna pause the game. You know, it doesn't, the interesting thing about the session though is that it, I don't, it doesn't tell you how to do it. It just tells you what you need to do. And well, not what you need to do, but it tells you well, okay, basically the object well the objective is to get these three frictions out of the way so we can get to the station. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do here. You're probably wondering what am I doing here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up these coal hoppers and I'm gonna back up and then I'm going to go into the siding here. I'm gonna push these hopper cars back over to this space over here. And then I'll have the covered hopper or the the cover the the uh, the coal hopper cars here. And then Oh, wait, but I just realized something. Oh, hang on. I'm not going to have a leftover track. Okay, change of plans. I'm actually going to do that with the coal hoppers. Okay, you'll see what I mean. There's a bit of strategy to this one. By the way, is there a penalty for breaking the speed limit in this one, or can we just drive as fast as we want? Alright, let's bring it back to a stop. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to back up into this siding here. Oh, it is quite far, though. Hmm. Uh, I may have wasted some time here. I should have done that with these white hopper cars to begin with. Oh well. That's still a chance. Yeah, guys, here's the thing. There's, two, there's only two sightings here. Which means only one way through, but then there's three trains. However, like I said, there's a space here, so. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the old Illinois Central trucks where the wheels don't turn, because it's a very old asset. Very old indeed. Also, these are the co oppers so we have to get on the brakes a little bit soon. Actually, I think we'll still be able to move back to fertilizers. If we... Yes! Okay. Alright, so let's get these co oppers out of the way. Before I spent six and a half minutes doing this, I don't know... You know what? I wonder who's, uh, who's who has the fastest all-time record. Cause this is a bit of a challenge. Hmm. Yes. All right, then we gotta stop here. Ah, oh, I should have got the brake sooner there, cause the brake, cause these cool cars are quite heavy. Uh oh. Yep, got the brakes a little bit too late there. Uh, we just wasted some time. Because keep in mind, this isn't just completing the objectives. We are against the clock. And also against physics if we don't stop in time. Come on. Got the end of the track here. Come on. Stop. Okay, we're going to stop in time, but... Mm. Yeah, that was a bit too close to call. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not going to play with these stupid coal cars. They're just way too heavy. And these have sevens. I mean, this is easy mode. Wow, or so to take off. Come on. 
Power! Was that gonna throw throw away some time? Oh boy! Come on, power! Speed! Why are we using F7s to do this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to go very slow here. I don't want to. Oh, we're barely going to fit these cars here as well, I just realized. Alright, come on. Okay, I think that's. No, I think that's far enough to where we kind of lock the points here. Okay, I think that will do it. All right. Okay, next thing we need to do is well get the box cars, and then well we're actually. Not almost done, but we're getting there. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's get the box cars. Okay, at least now we don't have those proper cars anymore. It turns a lot more lighter. Yeah, so this arcade game is a bit more lengthy than The Amazing Race. This one we've been playing for 10 minutes. And we'll get a few minutes more. So I'm not sure if we're making good time or if we're actually doing terrible here. But I think I'm only going to do this one once off this video. So if you guys can do better, then be my guest. Okay, now the speed limit is 40, so I don't know if this scenario has an anti-speed system. Uh, I'm not going to break speed limit though, just in case. Because I don't want to do this whole thing and then fail because I broke the speed limit. Alright. Alright, there's the Bucks cars. Last things we need to get before, yeah, you know. Ooh, this corner's quite tight. Woo. We definitely would have derailed around there if we had realistic physics. Okay, well, you couple to the box cars. We're gonna set the points here, like so. Yes. All right, let's back up. All right, and now you're about to witness my genius. You know, how many of you have actually done this session like several different times and just never been able to figure it out? Because I, I actually did do the session a few times back in the day, and I don't think I ever figured it out. I guess uh, my genius has increased in recent years, or since I last played this session. Alright, we're going to try not to smash too hard into the uh, fertilizer um, wagons, or hoppers, I guess. This is such a weird game. I mean, I like the I like the concept. I just find that it's weird, like, using a passenger train to move some freight cars around. Cool idea, though. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> can't believe this just came to my mind right now. Um, so these arcade sessions and routes things, this is all 99 cents. Uh, but as I should mention, it all comes in one package. So the congestion on the rails, the amazing race, and the other two thingamajigs, uh, it's all included in one package. 
uh, all for 99 cents. So if you want to give all these arcade games a try, well, yeah, 99 cents is your price. All right, now we gotta. Actually, then we can stay with a little more for this one. All right, you see, so now we're gonna move the fertilizer hopper cars back, and we're gonna bring these box cars into the siding, and then, after that, well, we actually just detach the fertilizer wagons, and then we're through. And then we got the station, and then I think that'll be it. Okay, let's make sure not to go too fast here, because I don't want to. Um, you know. Okay, one thing is, I hope that that bit there is long enough to take the entire fertilizer train. Or, well, actually, the fertilizer train and my train. Like, I don't want to back too far back. And then, uh-oh, the fertilizer thing. And then I think after that, we fail the whole game. Alright, let's actually come to a stop here and actually check how much distance we have. Uh... We got a few more uh, car lengths. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Alright, let's see a couple of the box cars. If I can just a little bit more. And yeah, we're gonna have just enough room for the hopper cars. Okay, so this point here, that one's set. And uh, as for this one. Alright, so we're pretty much have everything. We yeah, we've now cleared our path. Um, there we go. Okay, good. Now we can uncouple the fertilizer hopper cars, which have just enough room to be stored here. And, shunting complete, we're now off to the station. So yeah, we have removed the congestion on the rails, and we're now clear to get to the station. So here we go. Alright, so 15 minutes. I do think I could have done a little bit better here. And if I play this again, then yeah, I could probably get an even better time. But let's see what the game thinks. Because I guess I guess even these arcade sessions do rate you. Like, they'll give you a certain amount of stars depending on how well you did. Um, I think this one is really just mainly about getting it done in the, in the fastest time possible. Um, so let's see. Maybe it'll give me a good gold star or maybe a silver star. And say, oh, maybe you can do a bit better. And I do think I could have done a bit better there, uh, but, you know, to be fair, this this was my first time playing this particular challenge in a long, long time. And the first time I've actually managed to figure out how to do it and actually make my way to the station. So, yeah. So here we go then, riding this corner one more time. And this time there's nothing in front of us, which means we'll be able to get right to the station and then we will complete the challenge. Come to the states. There it is, one third of a mile away now. All right, I want to get the brakes just to like the right time because I don't want to waste any more time here. All right, I should be able to stop here. Also, look how the end of the track is right there. So if we go any further, then uh -oh, we might fall at the end of the world, and then. All that all this time will be wasted. All right, here we are at the next stop. So we called next stop. Eh, get it? All right, and we made it. So how how well do you think the game thinks we did there? Um. Oh, there we go. Look at that. A perfect run. You have achieved a rating of three stars. Okay, so the game actually thought it did pretty good there. And my follow time was about 17 minutes, 24 seconds. So I'm going to challenge you guys. Uh, if you can complete this session faster than I can, well, let me know. Um, but for now, on to the next game. All right, on to more power. 
which is uh, driving an urgent load of coal to the power station. Um, yeah, I actually don't remember much from this one, so uh, let's see what this one is about. More power. Yeah, I, I like I said, don't, I think I played this one. Let's see. All right, the power station is nearly out of coal. Uh oh. Collect coal from the nearby coal storage yard and deliver it to the power station before it runs out of coal. Oh. And we got a time limit. This time we got five minutes. Oh, balls. Good as. Okay, change search and head to right clear to the coal loader. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's the coal loader. Wait. That's the. Wait, stop here and load the coal. What? Wait a minute. Um. Oh, we only got three wagons. Okay, now we're having this guy. This challenge. Yes. Okay, stop. Oh, stop here to load coal. Okay. All right, so going to load the coal here. And then we can put it into the unloader, I guess. And we have five minutes to do it. So this time, we have a limited amount of time to do it. And we must do it before the time runs low. Or runs zero. Okay. All right, so down here. I know, to stop here to load the coal. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop within this station here right there we go perfect all right coal has been loaded and now we gotta take it to the power station all right so power station oh and oh there's even a trick thing it's change this junction yeah no kidding because there's one bridge here but the other just falls so you have to fall to the ravine if you don't remember to change the points in time you gotta change this junction as well well this just gotta change and there's our destination. All right, can we get there in three and a half minutes? Oh, oh, it even pauses. Okay, change the junction at the next waypoint to the right as the left bridge is out. Okay, so the game does actually tell you that in advance. Good. Okay, well, I already sensed that myself. So yeah. <laughs> okay, but at least the game pauses and tells you, hey, you gotta change the points, or else you fall into the ravine, and then, well, you fail the challenge. Yes, sir, all over again. Here we go. Got to change the dungeon, which we have. Let's go onto the bridge that actually gets us across the ravine and not the one where we fall off and uh, die. <laughs> and change the dungeon. Yep, there's another one that we have to change, which we already have. Alright, so we got three wagons, or three coal wagons this time, so it makes the train a lot more lightweight, a lot more agile as well, so we'll be able to slam around the brakes and be able to come to a stop once we get to the station where we're supposed to unload all the stuffs. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's come to a stop, slow down anyways, because I don't know. Oh, okay, let's get on the brakes. Drive slowly through here, okay. How slow do you want me to go through, though? Let's see. Well, maybe on the brakes at a pretty good time there. Okay, let's go at 15 miles per hour or something. Okay, rub the coal here. We're actually making pretty good time. We still have a couple minutes to spare. Okay, how slow do you want me to go? Oh, here we go. Okay, coal's being unloaded. And there we go. All right, and we did it with one minute and 40 seconds to spare. How about that? All righty, so first season we're running for a while and cool. All right, so three stars. All right, another good session. Okay, one more to go. Let's check that one out. All right, the last one of the four, and that is Runaway Train. Catch me on a train before it plunges into the ravine. Yeah, so this one I think I have played it before. I think this one's pretty straightforward. Um, just get your locomotive. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. The bridge is out. The driver of the runaway train is not responding, and they're heading straight for the gap. Uh-oh. Just like, well, something different of those runaway train stories. Uh-oh. And it's an Australian train. Mm. Catch up to the runaway train before stop the train will reach the gap. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, wait. We're using an American train to stop a, uh, Australian train? Okay. And, uh, okay, what does the map look like then? Oh, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, hang on. Oh, you can see the, the bridge is out. Oh, that's a pretty cool detail. So here's the track. And, 
Uh oh, there's a train we need to catch. We need to stop him. There's also a little loop here. For some reason. Also, we're just the local for the, the B unit, so we are pretty fast here. Oh, we got 100. Okay. Fast! We must catch the runaway train. This is like that scene in Unstoppable. And we got a minute to get to him as well, so we're gonna be very fast here. Probably reach the top speed of the locomotive. Oh, this one might be close, actually. Because we're gonna come up to the back of him and then they apply the emergency brake, and he's actually getting. Oh. Catch clear of those approach to no hit too hard. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, he's actually getting very close. Uh oh. Uh, are we gonna do this in time? Oh, this one's gonna come down to the wire. Uh oh. Um. Okay, and emergency brakes. Oh, may have been too late here. Hang on. Oh, no! Oh, it's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna do it. Yep. Ugh! Ah, uh, we came very close. Driving too slowly. Yep. Let's try that again. I guess it's got to be right on the money. Like, right when the control comes up, and then you just got to just go fast. See, so yeah, it bridges out. Yep. And the train is on the move. Uh-oh. Yeah, so we got to be right on the money here. We cannot waste any time at all. All right, come on. There's a train. Three, two, one. And... Power! It has 100 mile, 100 mile per hour speed limit. Or 62. Yes, yeah, so this one, I think we're actually allowed to go as fast as we can here. Yeah, 100 mile per hour. Or bump per hour. Oh, no, that is a miles per hour. Alright, here we go. Uh, he's moving really fast. We can't, We did come close. So I think this is possible, but it might be very difficult. Yep, don't put the train too hard. Come on. I think this is possible, but it's going to be very difficult. All right, here we go. And... Oh, we hit it too hard. You're right. Oh, here we go again. Okay, this is actually quite difficult. Hang on, maybe. Oh. Oh, we just did it. I was very close, but we did it that time. Okay, one star. Okay, I will admit, yeah, that wasn't very good. I think, I think the uh, the aim of this game here is you have to apply the brakes at exactly the correct time. Uh, but this one is probably the most difficult out of all of them. And yeah, if I if I probably got some practice here, I could probably do it. So um, yeah, if you can get uh, three gold stars, then uh, yeah. Uh, but I think, um, yeah, so, <laughs> remember earlier in the video when I mentioned the uh, Amazing Race thing, I've got two stars in that. I think we can easily get three stars in that one. So, let's give the Amazing Race Challenge now one more go. Alright, back to where we started. So, let's give this one a proper go. All right, and full speed. And okay, we've seen the round enough, so I think now we can do this. Okay, so we gotta change these points here, and then change these ones as well. Okay. And now we have to go. Um, oh, we have to change these points here. And Dex, I think the rest of the route set for us. Okay. All right, there we are, side by side with Harry, who's driving the F7. Was worth the HST. Yes. I 
Alright, goodbye Harry, he's going a different path than we are. Alright. We got a four courageous tea set. This one looks like the cap of this thing. In case you haven't seen it already. And I think we are allowed to go full throttle for this challenge. I don't think... I think the uh, derailment physics are... Exit or, well, derailments in general are turned off. So we can go as fast as we want around this course and just stay on the track. Also, I forgot. This game has cap swing in it. What's this? Oh, here we go. It's going to be real noticeable here. Yeah. Yeah, good thing that that derailment seemed to be disabled for this challenge because, you know, they want us to go really, really fast, so. Yeah. Oh, he's already... Oh, he's about halfway around the course. Yeah, I can see why the game only gave us two stars because we kind of took, like, sort of, like, the easy route and stuff. Now we're going a route that's a bit more... Well, it's going to make this race a bit more close. As we are flying along the track. And there's another set of points which would have turned us on the wrong way. And there it is. Our Harry. Who's only going half the speed I am. Santa Fe of 7 is no match for the Inner City 125. Yes. I will say he is keeping up. And here we are on the home stretch. I'm going to apply the brakes now. And not sure if we're going to slow it. Uh oh. Oh, it's going to be very close. Did I apply the brakes in time? I think we did. Actually, there's a floating thing over here. Oops. That's floating. <laughs> well, we made it. Look at that. I think that's going to give us a gold star here. All right. Well, we won the race properly this time. We're going to get three gold stars for that one. Oh. Really? Okay. <laughs> I just did that for nothing. Oh, well, here comes our Harry, who's going to pull into the station. Yeah. So it turns out, I, th I think you just get, like, three stars just for getting there way fast than he does. Like, I guess you have to be a long way ahead. I thought the reason was because we sort of, like, took, like, you know, the game was like, Oh, you won the race, but you took the, shoot the, the cheaty route. You should have gone follow him to make the race more interesting. But no, I guess it is just you have to get there as quickly as you can. Whatever whatever it takes. Oh, well, you know what? I think that was still a very interesting race. And to be honest, I think the race would have been even more interesting if we just took that path. Because, you know, because we were right alongside Harry here. And, uh, well, I think if we went just a little bit too slow, then, well, we wouldn't have won the race. Yes. Well, then, that's going to do it for this video. Um, so for the arcade games, definitely a fun thing here in Train Simulator 2. Um, obviously, so yeah, so as far as assets and things, again, there is no new content in here. It all uses the default stuff. Um, uh, you do get four extra routes, but they're not really routes. They're sort of just routes that are specifically set up for this sort of thing. Um, although, is it possible to mod these routes or do make changes? I'm not too sure. Um, but anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in whatever i make next <laughs>